Hello, my name is Marco, and I um, just wanted to share what I got. I got two slings, and I'm a big fan of uh, practical paracord. I like to do a lot of research, because uh, uh, primarily I'm a writer. Never a slug in my life, and uh, was just kind of curious, and the more I learn about certain things, the more I feel like it can add to my stories. And uh, in my book, I do have uh, people that use slings and, uh, you know, swords, arrows. And so I like doing my research. And that's how I found, came across uh, practical paracord and is a smiley sling. And, you know, for a little bit, I was like, well, maybe I could just make one. You know, it's just a pouch and a sling. I was like, I well, I would hate to just, you know, give up just because, you know, I wasn't, didn't get it right, you know, I didn't get the right length or it would be something silly. So, you know, I, I almost got some gimmick slings from Amazon, but then, you know, when I saw this, um, I was like, well, I'll give it a shot. It's, you know. You know, I, I bought some, I bought some, uh, some knives from Amazon that, they're, they're okay. You know, the style was kind of, you know, they're crooked, some were bent, and it wasn't the greatest. So I was thinking, uh, well, I'll give this a try. And I am not disappointed. You can, can you see that level of detail? I mean, I just, uh, I mean, could, like, maybe you could. I'm not very good at braiding, but uh, just the level of detail that went into, and, I, and I've been using this a little bit, so it's a little bit tattered because, uh, you know, the front of the sand and the rocks, and you know I mean, I'm, I'm not very good at unboxing videos, I just can't wait. So I've been playing with this for a while, uh, and at first I was wondering, what what is this stuff? What what is that? And then I was watching uh, practical paracord some of his videos, and um, that's uh, wax to increase the durability. So keep that on. That's good. It's uh, you know just like a bowstring, and these crack like it's like a bullwhip. It's uh, very powerful. Um, I've got the drum going. Unfortunately, my rocks. Um, most of them are flat, and it's winter, and I gotta, I gotta dig, I gotta forge for more rocks that are more roundish. This is the roundest rock I can get. These slings, they may be a little bit spendy, but they are the, uh, you know, if you ever heard of Albion, the sword maker, this is the Albion of slings, and, uh, but they're not hunt worth, you know, they're not hundreds of dollars. Uh, thousands of dollars. I'll be in is like be, beyond my price range. That's why I'm, uh, you know, sometimes you know, I got I got swords. I got a, you know, a, a Chinese made katana, uh, a budget, bunch of stuff. But this is amazing, 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 uh, amazing craftsmanship. And uh, you know, uh, we never know how long, uh, you know, someone. Uh, is going to be around an artist, a performer, a, an athlete, and uh, I think this is really like this is an amazing thing, an amazing craftsmanship. And uh, so they don't fray up and they last long. Because <laughs> I'm a person that slaves every single day. You know, that's about to be again, parkour. In today's video, I will be throwing rocks at these cement blocks. Let's see how long it takes to knock them down, y'all. So first off, I just want to say I've never slung before in my life. And uh, if you want to see someone that's really good, you should go check out Shannon's channel, uh, Practical Paracord. He's doing all sorts of really cool uh, slinging tricks and all sorts of cool stuff. This is my first day. This is not... By any means, hey, uh, it's like, oh, I thought this was a really good sling. It's a really good sling. I am a really bad slinger. Let's put it this way. I'm a really new slinger. 
So, could I hit the broad side of a barn? Probably not. Uh, <laughs> I've had rocks go up, and I've had them go down, I've had them go backwards, and I've had them go sideways. So, but it does help having the right rocks my first day. Um, yeah, uh, first day it was, it was, <laughs> it was interesting. Yeah, so wandering around, and uh, I do jump around a lot, as most of the time on this I was uh, looking for round rocks. At this beach, there was, it was kind of a, a hard commodity to find. And <laughs> there was a couple of times that happened. Um <laughs> Again, this is for entertainment purposes. I am not a great slinger. Um, there goes another rock. Thank God the, <laughs> the camera is safe. Again, these are absolutely not the worst rocks you, to use. They're pancake rocks. And sometimes I was putting them in backwards. And sometimes I'm holding the sling wrong. There we go, we got progress. Did you see that double skip? Yeah, that's how flat the rocks are. You can see where the rock skipped on the water. Um, so, yep, the second day, I would do a little bit better. So, got better rocks, and we're making progress. You know, I'm not really going for accuracy now. I'm, I'm going for style. So, if you would like to see more of this, uh, let me know, uh, whether it's in the comment section or thumbs up, and uh, subscribe. Is that re ultimately really lets me know that you're interested in what I'm sharing. If there's something uh, you'd l like to, you know, like to see, uh, definitely let me know. I'm I pay attention to the comments, and uh, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, uh, I, uh, this is one of the reasons why I really focus on, you know, getting the uh, scenes is because um, uh, one of my favorite commenters, uh, uh, was it a Bayou Traveler, has, uh, has requested that. And, uh, you know, it's a small channel, so I really uh, value uh, your input. And uh, so, yeah. This is this is some scenery, some drone footage, and uh, for everyone else that, that hasn't uh, checked out my audiobooks, that might be a fun thing to do. Uh, if you like dragons, magic, and adventure, then uh, check out uh, Founder's Keep. I'll leave a sample uh, if you if you like it. Uh, you can I'll you can get the the link and listen to the whole thing. It is a long novel. It is thirty plus chapters. Um, but that's that's you know that's my my passion project, and that's why I test out knives and swords and and slings. Uh, so that's uh, that's that, and um, yeah. So that's that's my thing, and. Uh, let me know what you think. Chapter 1 Helvisti Nora took in a deep breath as the ship sailed out of the harbor and tugged at her long fur overcoat that blocked the cold wind as she turned for one last look back at the city. She would miss Takrun and its cozy, bone-white, waddle-and-daub buildings with their shaggy thatch roofs. She watched them fade away until all that could be seen was lush green hills dotted with flocks of sheep and smiling shepherds that waved at the ship as it sailed on by. Both sheep and shepherds seemed to be so happy those lovely green whirling hills 
seemed so quiet and peaceful. Day by day she watched the landscape change, from pleasant, lush green hills to dark, gloomy, and jagged granite. These mountains were not green at all. Any speck of color was the beginning of a pale blue glacier peeking over the jagged ridges. Nora grimaced. Even the pine trees near the shoreline seemed more black than green. The crew trimmed their sails as the ship slipped into the busy sea lane that led to their final destination. Her determined sky-blue eyes gazed up at the Helvisti lighthouse on the snow-capped mountain that overlooked the city and large port below. The city stood out like a gem wedged between two seams of granite stone. Nora suspected the brightly colored buildings of randomly assorted, vibrant purples, blues, and bright greens were to make up for their perpetually oppressive, gloomy gray clouds and harsh, jagged, snow-capped mountains that sheltered the city from the Baru waste beyond. Nora dipped her chilled nose beneath her red scarf. She was glad Vila had gotten it for her. She had initially had refused it, but during their brief stop in Tel Kroon, he had bought it anyway, and halfway to Alvisti, he had regifted it to her, which she begrudgingly accepted. It wasn't purely out of pride. Naturally, while in her military uniform, she was expected to follow strict regulations. A bright red scarf, no matter if it was the finest, warmest, and softest Talgrun wool in all of man, it did not match her green military dress uniform, and although she was breaking regulations, she was now too cold to care. So that concludes the, uh, the sample. Uh, and the whole thing is uh, available to listen to, and uh, it's, again, there's a whole playlist. Uh, I'll leave a link uh, to the comments and down below. It's called Founders Keep, and um, there's there's a whole playlist. Uh, it's one through thirty plus chapters, and uh, yeah, if if you enjoyed it, uh, you're welcome to. Uh, come along for the adventure and uh yeah and uh, again let me know what parts you liked what parts you didn't like it helps me improve the content and um yeah and uh, again uh it really really motivates me when i see another subscriber and i'm happy for uh, everyone that has subscribed so far thank you so much for for the encouragement and the support and it's been really amazing and uh and i hope to bring a whole lot more uh and do more stories and uh yeah so yeah feel free to you know yeah, give critiques or or feedback or or if you want to be positive you know i really enjoy that too really enjoy uh, positivity and um, yeah so that's that's been really encouraging so, so far and uh, again thank you for uh, watching thank you for listening uh, thank you for your time and have a wonderful day and if you like dragons magic and adventure you definitely want to subscribe because there's going to be a whole lot more coming soon.